How long do you see yourself at 130 before moving up to 135? I think that 135 is coming real soon. I, I, I feel like all the big fights is at 135. I feel like um, the big names is at 135. And um, it's just depending on what's going on at 130. I feel like I'm one of the best fighters in the sport of boxing. And if the division ahead of me is um, one of the best divisions in the sport of boxing, why not go there and go meet some of these guys too? So uh, I don't duck, no action. action. And those same big fights that Josh at 135, I feel like I'm still going to be the same person I am where I was at 130, 126. I'm going to be the same fighter I am regardless. I don't care who's in front of me. So um, we're going to get there real soon. Hmm. And, and you could see that uh, be at the beginning of next year or and stay at 130 this year, or you could, if, depending on the fight, you could move up to 135 this year. It's depending on the fight. I mean, um, at the end of the day, you never know what, what fight is next. If they come to me like, oh, uh, Lomachenko opponent fell through, da da da, or uh, that mean still won a such and such, such. Which like I got, I cut for Devin too. Like Devin, one of the people I grew up with, and I respect Devin. Um, but if we had the same weight class, we ain't got nothing else but to do is fight. So at the end of the day, uh, if them like fights was to come to me, I I don't know. I can't really see myself saying no, just because of the, just because of the fact that it's a big fight. And uh, is in front of me. Well, listen, uh, we 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 just sit, sitting here talking about 135, and uh, you're right. There's so many big money fights uh, at 135. You've already mentioned uh, Lomachenko, but there is the undisputed chat, Devin Haney. There's Ryan Garcia. You know that was a big money fight. There's Javante Tank Davis. Which one of those guys, Lomo? Because you've already said Loma, but which one of those guys interests you the most? Yeah. I mean they both do. They both uh big fights at the end of the day. Um you gotta respect Tank for what he do. He goes in there and he knocks these dudes out that don't really belong in the ring with him. And you gotta respect Devin. Uh what Devin just did was uh I he earned my respect a lot with that performance. Um I feel like Cambosis was the man who beat the man who beat the man. And Devin went in there and uh dominated him. He beat him with a jab. Uh his boxing was beautiful, his defense was on point. Uh, I think both of them fights is a major, major fight for me. I feel like uh, me, him, uh, me, Tank, and Dev is like three of the best fighters in the sport of boxing. And I think uh, a round robin with us will be like uh, people's dreams. Uh, but at the end of the day, we we all black young fighters, and uh, I like to see them win. Um, I hope they like to see me win too. So at the end of the day, uh, it would be it would be better for us to like take care of all the other competition and then be the last of last of the uh, dying breeds. But um, like I said, I cut for both of them dudes. Both of them dudes is young, black, and I seen I seen them dudes come up. Like I done seen Tank from a a, a kid trenches Tank, Baltimore Tank. I done seen Tank from nothing. So uh, I'm happy to see what he doing now. And I done seen Devin from a kid too. So it's like. Like I said, uh, I got nothing but love for them dudes, um, but I would love to get in the ring with them. Well, I'm happy you mentioned Tank because um, you, obviously you were there at, at the fight uh, against Roley Romero, and you, you did an interview and you were quoted by as, as saying, quote, I'm more skillful than Tank. He may not like me saying it, but I feel like it's the truth. I feel like I'm more skillful fighter than he is. I don't go down in rounds. I come back. Uh, that's what Shakur Stevenson said. Expound on that. Tell us what you were talking about. I just feel like I'm a, a skillful fighter at the end of the day. Um, Tank is a, like, he's a skillful fighter, but uh, it's like in, in his fights, it's like he, he be, had, like, be competitive until he could land his shot. Uh, but what I will say, like with the Roley on um, fight, it was smart the way that he played it. Like he kind of uh, was just boxing, 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 and then railed him into a big shot. So, uh, it was, I mean, Tank is a great fighter. I just feel like um, I'm a, I'm confident in myself at the end of the day. I feel I'm better than every fighter in the sport of boxing. I'll tell you that right now. You ask me about Canelo or anybody, I'm going to tell you I'm better than him or I'm more skillful. That's just me. Like, that's how I feel about myself. I'm so confident and I believe everything that I'm saying. So, at the end of the day, I'm not dissing them dudes. Um, like I said, they're young, black coming up. But... 
I feel, me, I feel like I'm the best fighter in the sport of boxing. So uh, people could take it how they want to. They probably don't want to hear me say that. Um, that's just how I feel about myself, honestly. And I know, I know what I'm capable of. I know what tools I got. I know what I can do in there with anybody. Like I done been in the ring with a lot of people, and I know what I can do. So um, I'm just that confident in myself. If we had a Shakur Stevenson, Javante Davis fight. How would that fight play out in the ring? Because you guys have sparred each other a lot in your younger days. How would that fight play out in the ring, you think? I mean, I think it's a good fight. I mean, he would have to maybe try to get inside of the the height and the reach that I have and uh, to try to land a, a big shot. But at the end of the day, uh, it's a great fight. I ain't taking nothing away from Tank, but... I think that I'm winning with whoever. I don't care who it is. Uh, whoever you name right now, I'm going to tell you that I, I could beat them. Um, all I got to do is sit down. And people say they don't watch tape. I watch a little bit of – I watch a little bit of kind of, okay, I see what you like to do best, I, and I try to take it away from you. And that's with any fighter. So, at the end of the day, uh, I don't know how the fighter go. I know he's short. He's going to try to get into the, the reach of mine. Or I don't think he could really just box on the outside how he do it, like, Roly and all them kind of dudes. Um, but at the end of the day, it'll be a great fight. What about a Shakur Stevens and Devin Haney? You talk about a slick boxer who's long, uh, uses that jab. How would a how would a Shakur Devin Haney fight play out in the ring? That fight gonna come down to boxing IQ. Um, who got the better boxing IQ? Uh it's it's weird though. Like you go watch us spar when we was kids, and like we both got better since then, but you can see, like, the skills and, like, the sparring, like, see how skillful we both were. So, I think that fight going to come down to uh, boxing IQ. Like, he, like, he got, like you say, he got the size advantage. He got the reach. But um, that don't really matter in them type of fights where uh, you got somebody as skilled as me. Like, I know how great I am. I don't need to have to get inside or nothing like that. I'm really sharp, too. So, at the end of the day, uh, we'll see. Uh, I feel like that would be... That would come down to boxing IQ. Who who got the better boxing IQ? And, and and when you talk about a money fight, a guy who's got a great following, as you you talked about, how about Ryan Garcia? Nah. What, what are your thoughts on Ryan Garcia as a fire? I think he's better than what people give him credit for. Um, I think the only problem that he mainly got, he always got his chin in the air. His chin stays in the air. But uh, I think he's better than what people give him credit for. I think a lot of people see him on social media and think he's just a social media boxer. But uh, Ryan, another person, I don't fought him when I was like 14 years old. So uh, he been around boxing for a long, long time. I remember Ryan was in the Silver Gloves, like 9, 10 years old, like little kid Ryan. So Ryan been boxing for years and years. So he's not just a like a media model boxer. Like he actually uh, box better than what people give him credit for. But uh, I put him behind them, them, them two dudes. I put him behind Devin and. Uh, Tank and I put him behind Lomachenko too, so uh, I think that he's not that skillful, and that that that's the real problem there. 